Hey everybody, hope you're doing well and welcome to a little video. So this one is going to be a kind of crystal opening and chat because uh, today we were going to do this the second video. So this is going out on Sunday. We're going to do the second video would have been the podcast. Unfortunately, um, you know, we're both very busy, myself and Dan. So it's nice to take a little bit of a break and kind of do it when, you know, we're firing on both cylinders, both feeling fresh and funky. So in this video, I'm going to be opening up some crystals, chatting about some of the changes that I'm going to be making to the background because uh, it's been the same for a while and I have even though I've rotated around this room, some stuff is yet to happen. One of the biggest things that's happened in the last seven days is getting Cosmic Ghost Rider. I've been studying a little bit of Slayer of Gods videos. I do think they are the best ones to go to if you want to understand the rotations. And there's various rotations of Cosmic Ghost Rider. But I have reached a problem in that I have run out of ISO and I need to not run out of ISO, I've run out of gold and the gold problem that I have currently and the ways that I can get out of this. So I'm just going to open up some crystals and in between opening up those crystals, talk about some stuff with this channel, my kind of um, stuff that I'm opening and as well the background because that's something to, uh, to bear in mind. So the date this video goes out will be the weekend 21st of, um, of March if I can remember rightly. And I should be popping open some of these gold crystals. I did say to myself I'd wait for a, a summoner appreciation, but it seems more logical now with my need to get um, my cosmic ghost rider further. I, I need to kind of um, I need to invest in grabbing some more. So, what to really talk about with the channel? Well, I'm happy to kind of report that um, you know I, I decided to kind of change up some stuff that I normally post on a Sunday, which was the two new series. Number one was The Grind Show, which was something that I asked Dan's permission, and thanks very much to Dan, Frontline MCOC, to allow me to use his MCOC calendar and as well add in a few little bits here and there and make it make a show all about like grinding and game in a foreseeable week, what's on, what to kind of like, you know, follow. And it's basically it's an extension. It's not a, it's not Marvel Contest Champions news. Because it's all about informing you of your grind. In some ways, yes, I inform you of bugs that kind of uh, revolve around the game, maybe upcoming things. But on the other hand, you know, there's um, there's more to the grind show in helping out players and giving more info than ever. Especially with that kind of a little tip that always ends at the end point of the week, which I think is kind of important as well to kind of like help out. So. That is the uh, the joy of that. And let's just see. Now, 1 million gold, which is good. That's going to be really handy for me getting my Cosmic Ghost Rider up to... Uh, I am going to put him up to rank 3. But that means I'm going to have to do a lot of arena grinding in order to get it. And as well, maybe a variant will drop at some point that will help me out as well. But that's 1.2 mil. Got with that. And I will... Uncollected. I'm going to open up all this as well. So all of these I got for free, I think from grinding stuff. I don't know if it's test of um, test of Thronebreaker that got these. But if I want my Cosmic Ghost Rider to be up to rank three, I'm going to need gold, and I'm going to need a lot of it. So you're going to see me grinding a lot more arena, especially after I've 100 percented Act 6.3, which is my target next, and then after that, try and 100 percent 6.2, and then 6.4, and then move on to Abyss. So if you don't know already, I have changed my mind in what I did say, and I did say I was going to do a Path of Abyss a month. It's just not viable, and it's just not possible, and as well, I'm just not enjoying that content. I enjoy 6.3 to a degree. There are some paths I have not enjoyed so far, but then I have had more positives about doing that over anything, and that's nice. Getting nearly 5 mil in a very short space of time is beautiful. Love picking up 5 mil just right up the bat. So I've got some other stuff to open. And as I did say, there's some changes I'm going to be making to the channel from a background perspective. So as a lot of you know, I've got the green screen at the back, which I don't use. The reason I don't use it is because it's there to soundproof. Like if I brought it down, it wouldn't allow, it would uh, it would echo the room a lot more. It's kind of, sound is weird, but obviously you've got to respect science and the way it kind of like... It teaches you a lot about stuff like, hey, did you know that if you put something like a sponge uh, type thing up on your walls, it will uh, stop sound reverberation, which, um, you know, it's a bit difficult in a small room to kind of sort, sort of that. That's why I've got the, um, the, I always have the door open because again, that helps towards the sound reverberation. If you didn't know, I'm probably going, why is he not using the green screen? 
So that's the other thing as well. The other reason I don't use the green screen, and I haven't used it in a while, is just lighting it. I can't get a consistent lighting on it, so that's why you find sometimes I've got like this kind of like, I'm really pale and then and, and like grainy, and then other times it's absolutely clear and crisp and fine. Which I've noticed a few times when like, you know, Dave uses it, or other people have used it. And will I go back to it? Of course I will. Of course I will go back to doing some green screen stuff. But I need a better way to kind of like um, be inspired about this room. And I've got this uh, this piece of uh, furniture, which is a Calyx from uh, where is it? IKEA. Which I'll just show, I'll just show you now. And it is. I'm sort of happy with it. I really would have preferred this to be a bit more darker, but. Um, it is it is what it is I can't find the exact like model of it but uh it looks a bit like this on screen now it looks a little, little bit like that it's not exactly that it's kind of similar to uh, to that one there but uh, it's got like two tiers of storage and in that I'm gonna be putting a lot of like figures uh, booster packs because I want to do some like um like booster pack openings and stuff maybe it's gonna be wrestling cards Pokemon cards marvel cards you know you name it i'll probably kind of like have a bash of kind of like opening some stuff just to kind of like put a bit of like zing and pep into um some stuff that i'm doing but mainly to put things like um my funko pop sir like that and that will be on the back there so like not not here i'm rotating around the room but it was going to be there i've also got like some other stuff as well like a mount for my camera Everybody helped out massively with um, Stream Deck figures. You name it, have helped out massively to uh, to allow like that stuff. So I'm kind of like I'm looking to reinvest stuff into the channel. Get some LED lights, get some like color schemes going, and just like get like this kind of vibrancy that I, I really wanted to see, and kind of like up the production uh, levels going forward. Have transitions for stuff, and then get somebody to do some transitions for Marvel Contest Champions news. Get an intro kind of um, graphic, intro kind of like song. But also I'm excited for the future and future games. Because that's the thing. I've never wanted to do just one game on the channel. Which is why I, I cover indie games. And have really kind of good relationship with um, a brand called Indie Boost. And their subsequent product called Catapult. Which allows me to review indie games and as well kind of like make some money at the same time. Because, uh, you know, money on YouTube, man. When YouTube took all that money, I was, like, broke for two months. And you need to diversify what, how you earn your money. I'm going to do, like, some stuff when it comes to, like, YouTube business or, or kind of, like, no, content creation and trying to running, uh, running it as a business. Especially when, you know, you're not at the very top compared with others in your sector. This is why, again, I want to branch out and cover, like, Marvel Future Revolution when it's released. Because it's something that's um, that's new and exciting and something that ticks some boxes for me. As many people pointed out, they're not too interested with Marvel Future Revolution. And I think it's worth the chance. Especially compared with like the way that people have this, this stigma of like they're going, Okay, I must be an MCOC game player only. And I think that's, that's something that people need to get out of the habit of. Is just finding interest with other games as well. And yeah, you can like what you like, you know, that's that's your opinion. You can like whatever games you like. But at the same time, I don't want to lose an opportunity to play various other games because I have to play Marvel Contest of Champions. You know, if you if you think like do people give gave do people have people given and uh, have people gave uh Seaton any kind of like stick for the various other games he's played? I don't think so. Especially uh, you know, uh, with so many Marvel games out there, Marvel Strike Force, Marvel Future Fight. Although people have the people are kind of looking like, okay, well, Marvel Fu the because the de developers have made Marvel Future Fight that make Marvel Future Revolution. People kind of think, okay, they're going to be like that with that game, and that's the thing about giving the benefit of the doubt. Although I must admit, Kabam having have not helped that matters with Marvel Realm of Champions. I'm still a massive player of Marvel Realm of Champions. I like the game. But at the same time, there is there is some like problems that need addressing. Disappointing not to see the likes of Thor being put in game, and it just feels like a lot of slow development for stuff that uh, there's lots of complaints. I'm on the Discord uh, for Marvel Realm quite a few times just to say like, hey, like no, this is a problem. This is a problem. Um, 
yeah, it's like I'm giving feedback every single day on stuff with with, with them on on things, and it's it, you just don't want. I think it's it's down to listening. Do an Arkabam listening. So if anybody, and I just like say sweet listening. If you if you're kind of like you've got this far and you're chilling, and put in the comment section. You know, I'm listening to you, Rich, and also I understand what you know what Kabam are up to. So let's pop open some some map crystals. I've got a load of map five ones. Uh, I need to just blast through those. I need rank up materials as well. That's another thing. I have been holding on to them, but I kind of think like, ugh. Well, let's just let's just crack these open. Uh, map six, map map seven. Got to get those. Just got to get those open. And um, what's happening with me as well, this is the last season I will be in Odin before I'll be going on to doing just more map seven oriented, map six and map seven orientated stuff. As um, I need I need to kind of like go forward with that. But at the same time, I just don't, I'm just not enjoying Alliance Wars. I, I just don't, people people said to me, oh, will you upload, Marvel, uh, will you upload um, war content? I'm like, no, war content is some of the most boring like content to cover. And and especially like for me, just that like I'm just doing platinum four. It's not really what I don't think people want to see that in any case. So yeah, whatever. Um, I will. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. As I said, I don't. I don't enjoy alliance wars at all. So I I find it difficult making content on some aspect of the game I don't enjoy. Although I do want to make more content on things like uh, incursions and other stuff like that. I think that's really covered a lot of the stuff that's kind of going on with me and going on with the channel and uh, I kind of like think that I've updated you uh, enough with stuff. Now I do like these Supreme Solo Crystals by the way. I think they're pretty good. But I am keeping them. So one one kind of like tip I would give anybody is that, and I will pop them open just to kind of like show this. So I'll pop open 10 just to show this. So these are pretty good but you get some boost from them and there's one boost there. And there's some obviously some other boosts there for arena boost. If you are doing arena, then make sure to kind of like re reinvest them into your your, your grind, and as well as a 50, plus fifteen percent. I hoard those as much as possible because then when it comes to like doing abyss, I've got those kind of like boosts constantly ticking off and, and kind of working and working for me, working for me. So yeah, let's end by kind of like clearing a lot of these prems, and then I've got to do uh, five to end on. I don't think I can awaken my um, my Cosmic Ghost Rider with one attempt. By the way, amazing stream last week. We had a real laugh with that, with that, with having like the luck that was uh, that I got was just. It felt a little bit kind of criminal, especially because like the way things have, have dropped for me. I did hope for some good stuff back in November. Was it November when those crystals were? In any case, like the like November time when those crystals dropped. Man, uh, November or December, when, whenever they did. I was hoping for uh, a six, so those are six stars. Uh, I thought that Immortal Abomination but I was in there, but I got conf I think I was getting confused with some of the uh, different ones, especially with um, the five star one, five star featured. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I am saving a few other crystals for, for like other occasions and next month where I'm gonna be taking a, um, a small little rest of sorts. Uh, I'm going to pop the uh, the ones there, get some more five star shards in preparation for some other features. I think I'll be getting, I'm going to go for the next features as well, just because like you know it's just, it's just new champions, and that's the thing. I, as I said to a lot of people, I, I want to get more scope of my roster rather than going okay. Well, I've got the same ones time and time again. Let's pop that open. Um, okay, Dark Orc. I, I wanted some more signatures of him. Rather than taking my roster sideways, I want to take it forward. So it's like saying I want new champions that have different abilities that interact with uh, with kind of content that I don't have any counters for. And we'll end by going on this one here and give a, a one-shot attempt, shall we, to the likes of Cosmic Ghost Rider. Probably won't happen, but hey, I said that last time. And what happened? Six star, six star Cosmic Ghost Rider. Okay, oh, there's a tease, there's a tease, and it is Nova. Kind of annoying because I did actually pick that to be awakened in my five-star nexus that I got out of my uh, Odin crystals. So anyway, it is what it is, it was what it was. That's some uh, interesting pulling. 
I've uh, done exactly what I want to do, which is to top up my gold going from zero, well not zero gold, but low gold to four million gold in a very short space of time. Those uncollected and golden gold crystals are a joy. I just can't wait for the next uh, summon appreciation as I, I need to kind of like just pop and grab and rank up because people are just saying to me, Rich, when are you gonna show footage of the six star? I'm like, soon, once I get him up there. Uh, which will happen uh, in next week. I'll probably do a video next week when that happens. But uh, there we go. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure as well to check out some other content recently posted kind of like up and around there, wherever up and around there will be. And uh, we'll see you for some more fresh stuff next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.